as elected officials urge against travel to and from the country's COVID-19 epicenter, New York City. Businesses impacted by those calls are now taking more drastic measures. As Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Hayes explains now, March Trailways will shut down operations to cities in the caution zone. Current and former lawmakers put out an urgent call for travel operations to cease between a known coronavirus hotspot and Northeast Pennsylvania. At least one company has stepped up to the plate. Um, is one of the largest, but we also have a lot of smaller transportation systems, buses and things like that, vans, and I'm going to ask of them right now publicly to do their part as well. State Representative Rosemary Brown authored a letter to Martz in an effort to keep both New Yorkers and Pennsylvanians safe from interstate travel. We need to respect the fact that our residents really are doing the stay at home compliance so that we can stay healthy and we don't overwhelm our hospital systems. Martz announced Wednesday that after this week, they'll be suspending services for two weeks. Former U.S. Representative Lou Barletta says it's a start. It's that contagious. So I think this transportation back and forth needs to stop immediately. I don't think we can wait. Uh, wait days or weeks for this to happen. Both Brown and Barletta agree essential personnel on the front lines need to find a way to help, but governments need to find a way to make sure they do that where there's less chance of coronavirus spread. Well, of course, it's very, very difficult. It's not something that I want to ask for or I want, you know, have ever expected to happen, but we have an unusual situation. We are deeply connected and common sense prevails. Now, Martz is aiming to get that service back into those major metropolitan areas by April 13th, but we'll have to see how this pandemic unfolds. In Wilkes-Barre, Kevin Hayes, Eyewitness News. As Representative Brown mentioned, buses are only one part of the transportation system that goes between New York City and other locations in our area. For more on what others are doing in our area to keep the spread to a minimum across state lines, head over to PAHomepage.com.